Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is super freaking exciting. Today we are going to be reviewing Billie Eilish's new fragrance. I literally just ran downstairs and picked up this package. Here we go. This is the beginning of an entire experience. The box has her little signature and it says a scent I've been chasing for years and years and years. So it seems like this is something that she's curated as like her signature scent, which makes sense. It is called eyelash after all. As much as I don't wanna break into this freaking stunning packaging, it must happen. So here we go, let's take the little film off. It's already so pretty. The thing I hate about fragrances sometimes is the packaging is so pretty that I never wanna get rid of it. So I end up hoarding a bunch of packaging. Oh, this has to be, I'm literally, why am I tearing up? I hate how annoying I'm being about this, but I'm literally... This is the definition of a display piece. I mean, this is the sort of thing that you would find at like anthropology or something like that. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how do I open this? I don't want to break it. Guys, how do I open this? Just be careful with opening it for the first time. This is what it looks on the inside. Does this actually come out? No. Okay, so that... Does it come out? No. Okay, so the component doesn't actually come out of the piece, so the one thing is that obviously it would be kind of hard to travel with, but I imagine she's going to be dropping like a travel size version of the fragrance soon. Also, I just noticed that this says Eilish on the side by Billie Eilish, which is really cute. And let me just read you the notes um, online. Top notes. Delicate sugared petals accented by juicy mandarin and red berries. Heart notes are soft spices, rich cocoa, and creamy vanilla. And base notes are sleek woods, uh, musk, and it's, yeah, it's warm. I bought this without even looking at the fragrance notes. I'm not gonna lie. So this is full on, full on first impressions. It sounds like something I would love. Now this is the moment of truth, guys. This is the moment of freaking truth. First, I'm gonna spray it so you guys can smell it first. And then you guys tell me what you think. I'm not even smelling it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm just gonna go ahead and just get it over with and just spray myself with it. Oh. Okay, I'm getting woodsy. I'm definitely getting woodsy. I'm getting sweetness. This is actually a pretty complex scent. Um, I can definitely feel, the first thing that, I, that hit me was that like woody scent, but it was also accompanied by the vanilla and the cocoa. I do get a tinge of berries. I mean, it kind of makes sense because the base notes are like musky, woodsy, like almost smoky kind of vibes. So I get that, but it's not overpowering. That's the thing that's crazy is I feel like musk is sometimes overused, especially because I am someone who appreciates more of a sweet scent. This is really pretty. It's really pretty. It, it reminds me of fall. Like it's a very much fall heavy fragrance and a little bit of floral as well. Soft spices and mandarin and sugared petals. Okay, now I smell the sourness. Okay, let me just give you guys a little bit of a scenery of things that I feel or imagine when I smell this. It reminds me of like a book store or like a library that's kind of old you know the smell of like old books it's not like this smells like it but it, it gives you that like warm kind of like vintage feel being in the woods in the winter when it's like really chilly but you have like an apple cider in your hands this one is definitely super interesting like if you walked by someone smelling like this they would turn around and be like whoa what's going on with that person they smell amazing one and two they're mysterious that's why I get the allure aspect, because if I were to walk by someone and they smelled like this, I would be like, that person is mysterious, that person is drawing me in, that person smells amazing, that person is like, what are they about? They're about something different. Um, so yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. I mean, why don't I just wrap up my little thoughts because otherwise I'm gonna just go on a rant. First of all, the packaging is freaking stunning. There is nothing to be said or done to change about this. It is a little bit hard to open. That's the one thing I will say, like you kind of have to like, and you don't wanna knock yourself out or something. So that's not great, but I, honestly, I would sacrifice that just to have this cute freaking packaging on display somewhere. I think you would like the scent if you favor sweet scents. I would say that the scent is sweet first. I think it has spicy notes. I think it has berry notes. 
a little bit of floral. It's also a, gonna be a scent for you if you guys like musky or woody scents um, because that's something that is super present in it. And I would say the floral slash sour, like mandarin, orange slash like berry scents are more on like the back burner of it. And I think the cocoa is also pretty present, but I think the vanilla comes first. So if you guys are into vanilla, woodsy, warm, spicy scents, um, with a little bit of mystery, a little bit of allure, <laughs> um, then I think you guys would really enjoy this. I didn't expect anything less from her. Like, of course she freaking killed this. And I'm assuming this is like modeled after her, right? Because I actually don't know that, but I'm assuming it's modeled after her because it's literally Eilish, the fragrance. Um, and I'm really freaking excited to see what else she has to come out with. I honestly would say that this perfume like can stand next to some of the more designer ones I have. It's definitely gonna make an impact when you're wearing this around. Um, but I think that's really fun. And I, I personally am in the mood for that sometimes. So catch me wearing this. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Billie Eilish fragrance. And I have some really exciting videos coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe before you go. Like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure you comment um, if you guys have tried this fragrance yet and what you think about it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a cute ass day and bye. <laughs>